my new work deals with looking at the materials of the world, both physically, symbolically, histor historically, and uh, digitally as, as an active archive and find and to find a form or a way for all these materials to exist together and form new connections and new meanings. The video, the video is edited through a track of me breathing and the sculptures themselves within these kind of red blown glass uh, elements that exist throughout the sculpture, uh, sculptures, uh, they, they, the light like flickers and, and moves to the sound of the breath. And, <clears throat> and, and, and it's a kind of like together net, togetherness, a ceremonial togetherness where you could think about every single thing every single material, every single being in this sculpture vibrating and sharing the same breath. And on top of that, um, all the sculptures physically functions as fountains. All the sculptures have uh, a cord, almost a lifeline, a bloodline of uh, this fluid running through all of them and they're all either puking or crying this liquid out into this one uh, water basin. And this, inside this liquid, I wanted to infuse a certain kind of uh, material magic or materials that have a certain kind of magical like belief in certain different um, places. So I use a sacred dirt that was given to people who attended the, the recently deceased King of Thailand's birthday ceremony. And I also use a, a live indigo culture um, to, to dye this liquid. Yeah. So it's like indigo is the blood of these sculptures. I made this giant rat costume myself and different people including me wear it and has been involved in many different situations and experiences for the past two years. One day, in a world where a human no longer exists, rats might actually take over. The denim painter is myself. Um, the idea of <clears throat> the idea of representing myself as as a character, as a denim painter, started with. Um, an observation on, on the contemporary world we live in where increasingly uh, whether we choose to or not we are represented as an image, as a video, as a set of uh, data. Particularly working, uh, starting off working in a Western art context and having a sort of like obviously Thai name, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to somehow start off with the idea of uh, the denim painter, denim as this uh, sim, like material uh, manifestation of uh, globalization and I wanted to like somehow have this sort of very like, you know, symbolically and materially relatable character. Chantry embodies uh, itself as both a drone that doc that shot the video and a spirit at the same time. I've always made like videos as letters where I talk to Chantry about my my life and reflect on experiences that I'm going through. The first video in this series that I made was called "Painting with History in a Room Filled with Men with Funny Names," and it was. It was sort of inspired by Chris Marker's uh, video, Sans Soleil, in which a woman reads a letter that was written by an author about sort of his travel and reflection on the world. Um, <clears throat> so in my video, I, 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 wanted to <clears throat> I wanted to make up a, a, a filter to communicate through to the audience, a sort of filter that, that somewhat reads as 
maybe an old friend, an ex-lover, or someone who is in a place far away, but there's this kind of closeness. Um, and Chantry in these two videos in the exhibition are voiced by my mother in French. My mother is a French uh, language teacher, and it's like a nod to uh, Chris Marker. <laughs>